uh, topic of fraud is concerned. And yes, I've heard the one or the other um, incident there that um, doses have been offered. So uh, first of all, uh, I think uh, in a crisis like this, you will always have uh, people who seek to, prob uh, to, to benefit or to profit from uh, the problems of others. And we see a growing number of fraud and fraud attempt related to the vaccines. We are fighting this trend. Olaf is uh, investigating and uh, giving member states advice how to identify this fraud. Our goal is to bring them to justice um, and uh, to really go in depth uh, in these matters. On the general topic, you're speaking about Pfizer, for example, being offered uh, by traders. There's zero guarantee that the vaccine is really in the vial or not. So it's, uh, it's extremely risky to take uh, such a product uh, that is not clearly identified. You have no clue what travel it has done uh, over time, whether the cooling chain, for example, has always been respected. If you buy it on the black market, of course you take the risk if anything happens. And we should not forget a vaccine is injecting if it's a vaccine, a biological active substance, if it's something else, it's another substance, into a healthy human being. So it's a huge responsibility that comes along. And therefore, there's a good reason why we have these, uh, these detailed tracking systems and these detailed logistic chains, for example, for the Pfizer vaccine. So um, it is very important that we investigate on that, but I can only warn um, what these uh, the vaccines are, so-called vaccines are concerned.